Yo, what's going on boys, Muscle Muffin here, and in this video I'll be talking about GPL Update 5, and was it worth the wait? Now, I've been waiting a very long time for something this big to be on GPL, and the fact that it's going to be free is going to be revolutionary to everyone that obviously can't afford it, and all those people that are big Roblox supporters. My honest opinion is that when the game goes free, it's definitely going to be worth the wait for everyone that's going to be playing it for free, because at that point, the game has had so much content, for those new players coming from zero to max that i believe that the game is in a good state right now i believe that in whole for the people that are playing it yeah okay th there ain't a lot to do like what are you expecting a year's worth of content every time there's an update it's always about the new player experience that's how you have to think about it it's always about how much content does a new player have when he joins the game at this stage and at this stage right now i mean there's a lot a lot of content if you're talking about someone joining that has no fruit level zero bandit town then yeah there is a lot to do there is a lot to do obviously we're talking about update five some guy that's got every item prestige candy cane you know he's got everything you can imagine old santa hurt scythe he's got everything jester outfit six q fits you know he's already got like all the new update five items then yeah okay maybe that guy is out of content but that's a sweat there's a sweat in every game you know you play world of warcraft there is there is neckbeards out there that play those games every day religiously 20 hours a day four hours sleep no showers but if we're talking about this game to the generation that's playing it now then yeah there there is a lot to do if you're joining this level zero with no weapons like I wouldn't know where to begin. Like, I, I can still remember now joining and how long it took me just to get Barry. I think it took me like three weeks to get a fruit because I didn't know anyone that played it and I was just on my own figuring everything out. So if we're talking about, you know, update five, how much content does it have? What did it give to us? I feel like this is a great update. It is probably one of the best updates. You know, I did like the Halloween update with the Jester and stuff like that. That was very revolutionary. Also with the Christmas event as well. That was nice with the uh, Santa car and the fact that you had to, you know, go to the crashed Santa vehicle and then you had to kill the big Krampus guy. But yeah, in my opinion, it was definitely worth the wait. You know, this is, this is very much a great game. At the moment, I've been playing it for like, what, three days now since update and, uh, I haven't, I only did two and a half hours of boss farming. I've just been tr doing dungeons again, trying to get fruits, trying to get mochi, trying to like uh, get into that, get into that trading community, dude. You know, once you're max level, like that's the kind of mindset that you end up in, you know, you, you end up trying to get high value items and you end up trying to get those items and uh, get them sell or keep them, uh, wait for the value to rise. There's so much that goes into this game once you are at end game that, 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 that a new player joining at this stage, there is just so much to do. They have all the first C items to get to make sure that they can qualify to kill what they need and to feel comfortable. Plus the fact that you need to flex all the time, you know, like they, there is just so much to do. So once they've got their CB star armor from first C, when they get to second C, they're after their Kraken armor set, you know, stuff like that. You know, did that guy get a good fruit drop? Did he make profit? Is that guy going into trade hub? Is he in the trade hub this good? So, Update five, I feel like there's still a lot for me to do. Like I said, I only did the boss for two and a half hours. Uh, I've been doing Brook more than I have been doing the Gecko Moria boss. But apart from that, yeah, this update definitely does have a lot of content. The free players coming to the game are gonna have so much to do from level zero to getting max that it's just gonna be ridiculous, you know? That like, I, 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 it's kind of, you know, you could be jealous at the point of where you know, like knowing how much fun it is getting all that stuff, but at the same time, you're happy that you have your items. But that's my honest opinion. You know, if you were that person joining, you know how much stuff you got to do and how much fun there is, you know, in the game at the moment. Plus all the new events coming out, the dungeons is like I said, it's gonna be free. Uh, I heard rumors about the Gecko Moria dungeon. I'm not sure if it's going to be a real thing or not. Who knows? But yeah, this is just a little ramble, a rant. I definitely do think update five is worth it. Uh, it is definitely worth the wait. It always is, dude. Do you think that for you sat there like, you know what? I'm just going to make them wait another month, dude. Like, no, dude. Like, obviously they want their game to succeed. Like, nobody's sadistic enough to be sat there like, yo, let's just not do anything for three months, dude. But yeah, great game. It's going to be free. Make sure you guys are on it. And as always, subscribe, notifications on, join the Discord. Till the next time, boys. Peace. Mm -hmm.